I worked with a horse and I've had a reputation. Nobody could load it in a flyer that was dangerous with rear strike. Um, when I went to do this demo, there was about four cars drove in and they were all either trainers or farriers. And we have a lunch and they're telling me about all the sorts of hiding this horse needs and what it could do. <clears throat> I worked with it like this and I got it, it sort of just come down to change. Oh, this is good. And it hadn't probably been used to anyone being like that around except the owners who let it get away with everything. And I did a horse float in the arena. And I put uh, the rain over the horse's head like this, over its neck. And I was just talking about, you know, to get a horse. He, he may be not there yet, I don't know. A lot of it depends on their background. If I can heal his hind end good, if I can look around here, if I can step in here, he's a little worried. If I go chasing him, I'm gonna lose him. I'll look at his bum, yeah, cool. You know, to get a horse to join up, you don't have to chase it round and round and round and round yards. And, um, you know, you can make it a lot more comfortable for the horse than that. They can be with you and doing that stuff too. They don't mind it much better because they know what happens if they leave you. It's a lot nicer. Um, and I, anyway, this thing, because it has never been handled like that, they, it locked on like one of those beast seeking missiles. And the horse boat was there. And I thought, well, you won't. And I walked onto the horse boat and he followed me on. And then I got accused of having worked with him the day before and all sorts of things about the trickery. I didn't even turn up there till that morning. So, you know, so that's what you can achieve with a worried horse. If you, and he, he wanted to be on there with me because he didn't want to be anywhere else. He didn't want to lose me by not going on the plate. Being assertive, it's clear, black and white lines will get a horse to like you better than anything I know. But black and white lines that aren't, get out of my space, thank you. Yeah. Nobody can live around someone like that, I know. I couldn't talk about it all the time, but, uh, but, you know, so you don't want to be preventative, micromanic. You just got to allow the horse to mess up. It doesn't take much for them to work out. One thing is maybe just a little more comfortable than another, or you don't have to punish them, you know. And it makes a horse that's a lot nicer to be around.